This is Ryan from GameRoomSolutions.com and real quick I wanted to show you how to update Kodi on one of the devices if you get it from us. You can see that Kodi's right there in my recent apps and that's version 16. There's now version 17 but this would work as uh, newer versions come out. I do want to show you if it's not in the recent there there's an easy way to get to Kodi. You just go to settings, applications, manage installed applications and then you'll see Kodi in the list so I can launch it from there but I actually want to update it first so what I'm going to do is is we put a program on it called App Starter you just click that and launch it and now you can see this will actually organize all the apps that you've installed on the unit but if I go down to updates you can see here Kodi in the middle App Starter as well but Kodi I can check for an update update to the latest version so I'm going to go ahead and click that now you can see that it says Kodi version 16.1 in the middle uh, so we'll update that. Okay, you can see here that uh, Cody's downloaded, so I'm just going to choose install in the bottom right. And now that's completed, so I can go ahead and hit done or open. We'll go ahead and open it. And you'll see it's the latest version of Cody. So now it's showing movies. Uh, there's not anything in here because I don't have it hooked to my local server right now to pull in movies. All the movies that you'll have will be in the add-on section. Uh, but you'll see here, all of the add-ons are going to start, they should start automatically updating uh, now that they recognize it's a new version. Okay, so you can see all the uh, auto updates were completed there. So now I can, I can actually go over and just select if there's one of these video add-ons I want to do or music add-ons or whatever. Or I can click OK on the add-ons on the left. And that'll section them out into videos, music, programs, etc. So you can see here, for instance, uh, here's Exodus. This is my favorite add-on. And then I could go to movies or TV shows. Uh, we'll go to most popular movies. So you can see now it has the uh, new, more updated layout with the artwork in the background and then also on the left. So I can come through here, select a movie. When I select it, it'll go out to the internet and pull all of the different links or sources. We're not going to download anything. We'll just play a file from somewhere on the web. So now I can just select any of these. If a link doesn't work for you, just select another one. You can see there it's working and press the OK button and go over to stop. Uh, real quick, all of the add-ons should auto update, but if for some reason an add-on doesn't update, I'll go ahead and show you this real quick. I can go to my add-ons at the top, all, and you'll see your list and you'll see some of them, most of them have a check mark meaning that they're updated, but for some reason if, uh, if one of them's not, like we'll just uh, we'll go to the Exodus. So Exodus is good, but I can click it, and now I can open it, configure it, or update it here if I wanted to. I'll go ahead and click it, and it'll pull up the latest version, which I already have, re-download and install it. But this is where you can come in and, and um, update add-ons if you want to. And the last thing here I want to show is um, if I click the add-ons again on the left, um, Oh wait, sorry. Yeah, the add-ons on the left. Now I can go down to program add-ons. And, and here I can do the config wizard that would reload all the add-ons if I wanted to. I can also uh, go into the add-on installer. So if there's a new add-on out there that you want to add, you can click the add-on installer. You can see here that it's not working. It just needs to be updated. So I'm going to press the three, uh, the three horizontal lines on the remote, go to information. I can click update to the latest version. You can see it updated. Now when I click OK, 
it's going to uh, it's going to work. So I can go into feature add on. So you can do that with any of them. You can always just click the three horizontal lines, hit information, and then update if something doesn't open. So I can go to feature add ons here. And then if there's one you read about or, or whatever, you can come in here and find it. Just click it and install it. So everything's point and click. It should auto update. If it doesn't, it's super easy to update. Cody itself, um, since we put the app starter on it, you can update that. We don't charge a lot to do this. It's just uh, getting it from us saves you the time of having to connect your computer into it through your network and load Cody on it the first time in the app starter app. You won't have to mess with any of that. It'll essentially just come log in with your uh, Amazon Prime if you have that. If you don't, just create a free account and then you'll come into Cody and you'll have access to everything in here. Uh, make sure and like the video. Thanks.